Okay, I wanted to share three of the bag patterns that are on the website. Uh, the first one, this little drawstring bag, it's called I'm All Ears. So this is a simple, beginner-friendly, fully lined drawstring bag. It has little bunny ears and then um, a yo-yo for a tail. So this is a super cute project for spring, Easter time particularly. Fill this with treats and tuck it into an Easter basket. But beyond that, this is a fun bag for kids. It's a great place to corral small toys. Uh, so think about bouncy balls, Hot Wheels cars, trains, littlest pet shop, those things that kids have in multiples. This is a great way to store them and um, tote them around. It's also good for snacks, like if you're on a road trip or you know, maybe just tucking it in for a day at the park. You can fit a little juice box in here and a uh, piece of fruit or something. Uh, so this is a super fun bag. I have in here a wide mouth pint uh, mason jar. So that'll give you an idea of the size and the volume of this bag. So again, it's called I'm All Ears. And actually this is one of our um, $5 patterns. So very inexpensive as well as darling. Okay, the next little bag I wanted to share with you is this clamshell bag, which is called Zip It. The instructions come with three different um, style options. So this first one is an improv piece, quilt as you go, made from your scraps. Um, it is fully lined. I even used scraps to make that lining. And then um, this zipper, you can see that it is top stitched on. So this is gonna be one of the easiest zippers you've ever installed. And even if you're still nervous about that zipper, I will add a video next about how to put that in step by step. Then we have these cute um, Japanese made zippers. They're two tones, so the teeth and the tape are a different color. It has these jumbo teeth and then this giant ring pull, which makes it really easy to get these bags open. So that's the improv paste option. Then there is the single fabric option. So this, whenever I make them that are not pieced, I always use a lightweight canvas fabric. Uh, there's a whole selection of these Japanese canvas prints on the website, so you can check them out and see if there's anything that you love there. So cut from one piece of fabric, and this one has a cute red and um, a cream colored zipper. And then the third style is this one called Two Tones. So the upper portion of the bag and the bottom of the bag are made with different prints. And this one has a cute um, turquoise and chocolate zipper. This print is also available on the website. This is um, a Sarah Watts print. So without seeing these in person, it's a little bit hard to know how big are they and how much do they hold. So nine inches long, six inches tall, three inches wide. Even that isn't necessarily so helpful. So let's talk about what this will hold. So how about a travel iron and an extension cord? Gosh, remember the days when we used to travel with our irons? Hopefully that is gonna come back around soon. So travel iron and an extension cord. And that same idea of traveling with your sewing supplies we have a whole selection of these super cute cat prints, different cat and dog prints on the website. And then this is the um, blue and sort of limey, mustardy zipper. So what's in here? I have a lot of stuff in here. So a um, thread catcher, pin cushion situation, my glasses, a full-size rotary cutter, full-size pair of scissors, pair of nippers, Selection of thread. I've got a seam ripper, pins, needle case, marking tools, thimble. Um, and I could probably fit a couple of other things in here. Um, so you can see this will really hold a ton of stuff. Um, how about if you're not um, a sewer? Um, I am a bullet journaler, and maybe you are too, so this cute whale print is also available, and we have that paired with the green and blue zipper. So I keep all my bullet journaling stuff in here, so I have a selection of washi tapes, uh, you know, a ruler, a bunch of marking pens, wide out, hole punch, so a ton of stuff that I use 
And look at all this extra space. You could fit a lot more stuff in here still. So good for bullet journaling. And one more idea. This cute sloth print. This is a birch organic fabric. Charlie Harper licensed. Also available in the shop. Paired with a um, fuchsia and gray zipper. So this one I have my little watercolor supplies in here. So I have a portable palette. A little jar for water. Pencil sharpener, eraser, pencils, brushes. A whole selection of... Um, watercolors, and I even honestly have enough room in here for a snack. But if I'm headed out someplace nice like the river, I could even put a little bug spray or something in there. Um, so that is the Zip It bag. We have um, some of them already pre-kitted that are available, or you can just go right on the website and look at what fabrics you like. I've tried to include uh, some photographs of fabric with zippers as suggestions if you'd like to look at it that way. Um, so available uh, as kits and all different parts. And then I have one more bag to share with you. All right, this is the last bag I wanted to share with you. This one is a nice full-size tote bag. It's called Project Double Zip because it has two zipper compartments, shoulder strap, um, again, made with that uh, Japanese canvas, so it has a nice body to it, lined with cotton. Um, and the lining you can see on this outside pocket, different fabric than the lining on the inside. How big is this bag? 15 inches tall, 15 inches wide, 5 inches deep. What will it hold? In this one, I've got a large lap quilt and a laptop computer and you can see there's still lots more room in there and then in this outer pocket I have just a handwork project case so case full of handwork supplies um, so this bag uh, requires three quarters of a yard of canvas fabric but all of our canvas fabric has been pre-cut and packaged in half yard increments so if you want to make this bag and you want to get Japanese fabric from the website you need two packs of the same fabric to make the whole outside of the bag and then just use whatever cotton fabric you want so two packs of fabric and two zippers one um, pattern and that will make the project double zip the last last thing I want to tell you about is just a couple of things about these zippers so these um, are 19 inches and the projects that I've shown you that use these zippers use this exact zipper they were made to fit the zipper um, if you wanted to use this for a different kind of a project you could certainly extend it by adding a piece here but you really cannot shorten it up because these teeth are just too big so once you cut this if you could even cut it you'll never be able to sew over it um, so these need to be either extended or used as is and we have I don't know a dozen maybe a few more color combinations on the website on these so that is our selection of bags bag supplies zippers fabric um, and hopefully you find something there that you like <laughs>